Years ago, I discovered that pumpkins just bring my family joy. They're so happy. And typically, I know this is gonna sound weird, but typically I don't carve my pumpkins. I leave them in their natural state and I decorate with them from October all the way through Thanksgiving. However, when you have kids, yeah, it's kind of a tradition, right? You gotta carve a pumpkin. When my son was little, we would paint them because I was concerned about him handling a sharp knife. Now this year, I saw a really fun painting technique online and I wanted to try it. You use squeeze bottles and you put coats and coats of paint over it. And one thing I would suggest is elevating it so that the paint doesn't pull up at the bottom. But you guys didn't come here to listen to me talk about painted pumpkins. You came here to see what I was gonna do with this bad boy. All right, so one major tip you need to know about. Don't cut your pumpkins until right before Halloween. I mean like maybe a day or two before Halloween because once you have made this incision, your pumpkin's pretty much toast. It, you're allowing bacteria to get in there and well, you know, that's just the end of the life of a pumpkin. So, we're going to cut off the bottom. And so the pumpkin is going to sit like a lantern over our light. All right. One of the reasons I don't really love carving pumpkins is they are very messy. And I don't really enjoy getting my hands with the goo. However, I'm doing it for you and the kids. I don't throw out the pumpkin seeds. That's very, very important. I use my hands and I gather up as many as I can and I am going to put them into this plastic bag so I can use them later. If you're struggling with all the goo from the inside, there are a couple of things that you can do. One, I have this little ladle, and I like it because I can scrape like this. See how it really helps me get the stuff out. If you don't have a fancy little ladle like this, you could probably use a jar lid. I've seen a lot of people use a jar lid in the, in the past. And another alternative, might be one of these. It's a very large serving spoon that you can use to scrape down the edges. Did I mention this was messy? I feel like I'm making all kinds of strange faces while I'm trying to do this. Now, I'm going to attach this really simple little drill bit and we're gonna have some fun with this pumpkin. I mean, anytime you can pull out your uh, power tools, right? So we're gonna create a circular pattern using the drill bit. So what you see here is you have a lot of fun holes in the pumpkin for the light to shine through and one of the things that you'll, you'll want to do to keep your pumpkin from rotting faster is you could spray it with a clear sealant or you could rub it with some Vaseline. But basically you just want to seal off these cuts. And then, this is a super bright light, you want to be able to put a light underneath it when it's sitting out See how beautifully it shines through there. And if you are wondering about how to use the seeds, you can visit my blog at comeondomyhouse.com and I'll share some recipes for people and for critters. So thanks so much for joining us and happy Halloween, everybody.